Thank you for visiting us today at RAS Aquaculture. So we're going to take a look today at the cannibalistic nature of the mud crabs. So previously I've shown you a simple trick to prevent your crabs, mainly crablets, from escaping into different department, compartments. So this is what happens if you don't do so. So we can see here a classic case of a small crab, uh, about 100 gram size, escaping into its neighbor cell, which is a crab fattening, which is a crab uh, help for crab fattening. And we can see that uh, after escaping to the so-called neighboring cell, it's actually been eaten by a bigger crab. So the basic idea of using uh, systems like these is to minimize the cannibalistic nature of the mud crab trade. So mud crabs, for those who don't know, mud crabs are cannibals, meaning they actually eat their own kind especially during the molting process or especially when you have uh, big differences in weight for example this crab is the crab that we see here is about 500 grams preying on a smaller crab that is about 100 grams so systems like these uh, with adequate management processes in check they reduce the cannibalistic effect of the mud crab and in return it improves your profitability and that's it.